Hello home chefs! Did you know that today is, yes, that's right, it's National Waffle Day and I'm tickled pink that it's a holiday. Now I know you're thinking that that Annette, she's celebrating every food holiday. And I do love celebrating all kinds of holidays, especially if it's a food holiday. It is National Waffle Day. And so I'm going to be making some delicious cheddar and chive waffles. And what is so special about these waffles is that they have bubbles in them. And it's the bubbles that has that awesome texture that makes it taste so good. So, I am so glad that you're here and I can't wait for you to see this thing in action. Hey, Lewis. Lewis is my evaluator. <laughs> so, I, I, he, he didn't think my picture of the other day was so good and that's okay, that's okay. While we're getting ready, to get started with this awesome recipe, I will tell you that it's also National Can Opener Day. <laughs> I can't, can you believe it? Hey, Tiffany, National Can Opener Day also. And if you're not familiar with this, our um, can opener, it's amazing because when you open up a can, it doesn't have any of those sharp edges. So, just wanted to give that out there to you also. So, let's get started. You can find this recipe uh, on my website, and we're just gonna hop right in and get started. It calls for a three quarter cup of all purpose flour, and I have that pre-measured here. It calls for one teaspoon of baking powder. So I got that right here. All right, let me see, make sure I got it on there good. All right, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cornstarch, who knows, I don't rare, I rarely cook with cornstarch, but I've made this recipe before and it works great. Sometimes if I'm in a chili cook-off and my chili is too runny, we'll add a little core, um, a little cornstarch or arrowroot to get it some thickness. Okay, we got that. Now we need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to be like chefs on TV. Hey, Cheryl. And I'm not measuring it. <laughs> this is one thing I'm not measuring. You know, you know if it's too salty or you can always add salt later and always add the pepper later. I do love cracked, freshly ground cracked pepper. All right, here we go. So we got the pepper in, calls for one egg. You really shouldn't crack your egg on the same bowl that you're working from. Hey, you will, because if a shell gets in there, it could ruin the whole thing. So I'm just gonna do it right there on the side calls for one egg. So exciting, so exciting. Okay, and then, make sure I'm not messing this, messing this up. Hey, Christina Gray. Baking powder, flour, corn, just salt, pepper. Add the egg and the sugar. I should have whisked this already. Oh well, let me do it on the side. You want to have that cornstarch and the uh, salt and pepper and the baking powder all kind of mixed up. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be pampered, right? I'm not, I'm not a perfect cup, but I sure do have fun doing it. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. All right, so I kind of went around the egg. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, so that I can mix up those uh, ingredients. All right. Should be fine. Should be fine. All right. Add the egg, the sugar. I already did that. How it is two tablespoons of sugar. 
yummy yum <laughs> it's gonna be yummy so are, did y'all celebrate by eating a waffle today you didn't there's still time there's still time <laughs> okay two tablespoons of sugar and then we're going to add the milk and the water so it's a third of a cup of milk I, I do have I was out of milk so it's mostly heavy cream it's gonna make it even more addictive <laughs> and decadent waffle I'm just hoping that it's not gonna mess me up mess me up on live TV ah! wouldn't be the first time <laughs> it would not be the first time okay and then a third of a cup of water I've already got that pre-measured right here we're gonna mix this up uh, and so we'll get this uh, you do have to preheat the waffle pan so I don't want to do it too soon and I don't want to do it too late but here we go we're gonna whisk these ingredients together I love these stainless steel mixing bowls because hey Ricky they have a um, a non-skid bottom on it so it makes it uh, a little bit easier to do your mixing if you have to do a lot of mixing and I also love it that it has see this thumb hole and then it has this pour spout so it'll be easier for me to pour this right into my waffle pan cheddar chai waffles <laughs> I know how to celebrate I know alright get this mixed up yeah I don't do a lot of baking but I do get inspired watching I don't know if you guys watch um, cake wars and stuff like that man I love watching that then I get all inspired and I'm trying to do Weight Watchers at the same time Okay, and now we're going to um, grate the cheese, and we need, how much, we need a half a cup of cheese. If you've watched my shows before, you know that I like to grind, grate my own cheese, because store-bought shredded cheese is, what, it's more expensive, and hey Karen, Dixie, so glad you're here, it's more expensive, and they put a, an ingredient in there called cellulose. I think that's what it's called. To keep the cheese from not sticking to each other. Well, <laughs> that's not uh, an ingredient I want to put in my body. Now, I'm not going to be toe a fib and say I don't ever use it because I do. In a pinch. But it is cheaper and... Uh, if you're going to eat the cheese, eat the good kind of cheese. Eleanor! Haven't seen you forever, Eleanor. I'm cooking from the camper. <laughs> I live in a camper practically 10 months out of the year. Either the gypsy bus or the river house. Okay, so we've done the cheese and the pie. I don't have fresh chives. We're going with... Uh, the dried and it calls for two tablespoons here we go one there's two and then you're gonna add the cheese all right get this up in here it's so good y'all the last time I made it I could not could not stop eating it it was so good so good all right, mixing this all up in here together. Now, I'll mix it up a little bit better. I want to show you how this awesome waffle pan works. It's kind of heavy, but not, you know, it's, it's not like a cast iron skillet, that kind of heavy, but it does have some weight to it. And it opens up. And then we pour the batter in here. So I do have to spray it. 
so that the batter doesn't stick. Now, once again, once again, I like to use my own oil instead of um, the spray. I do use the spray sometimes too. Hey, Crystal. But this is more healthy and it's more affordable. We have this little pump here. So, gonna get the pressure up. <laughs> and get your kids in, involved. Get your kids involved in the kitchen and have them do it. <laughs> have them do it. Okay, I'm gonna spray. Do a little more. I do need to clean this thing. It does better if you keep it clean. Woo! Okay. Getting in all the little bubbles. Yeah, it's doing better this the second time around. All right, I, because I'm on the Facebook Live, I don't want it to stick. So, love this little baster brush. And I'm just going to make sure that each of these little wells have... the oil in it. I do like this pan. I don't know if you can see, but it has on the edges. Hey, Eleanor, the most decadent. It's cheddar and chives waffles. Oh, make a BLT sandwich out of these waffles. It is so good. It's so good, Eleanor. So good. Yes. I could not wait to try this product when it came out. And it does have a little, um, if you over pour, it does have a well on the outside so that the extra batter can go in there. Speaking of new products, this was a new product for spring and summer. Our new season starts September 1st. And there are some really, really, really cool tools coming out to help make cooking in the kitchen easier and faster. Most of our recipes can be made in 30 minutes or less. And I am um, inviting you, if you would like to have your own party, I have this new thing called Quick Dinners on the table for busy weeknights. I need to make it more spiffy sounding, but basically new recipes to get on the table quick during the week when you're busy. Kids are back in school and all that. And also some snack ideas for the kids when they get home from school. All right, let me know if you wanna have one of those parties with me. So now I have to eat, heat this up. Preheat the pan over medium heat for three minutes. So, we're still learning the gas, the gas. <laughs> I'm at the one. It's okay. Bye, Eleanor. Eleanor has this amazing wine shop in the um, Pantop Charlottesville area. You gotta see it. You gotta go there. It's cool. Medium heat. So, medium, just like all microwaves are different, all stoves are different. Still, last poor Johnny Angel burnt one because we were still experimenting so I'm hoping I don't burn it medium heat I'm gonna go a little medium low just in case just in case all right so we're gonna preheat the uh, pan for three minutes it is exactly two o'clock, 2.03. I'm gonna flip the pan. No, I'm gonna preheat the pan for three minutes and then I'm gonna add three quarters of the cup of the batter. All right, so I'm gonna mix in this cheddar. The cheddar and the chives. <laughs> hey, Tracy, happy National Waffle Day. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Now, 
it says to add three quarters of a cup. So I am going to measure three quarters of a cup. So I'm wondering, I'm going to do it this way. Mm. <laughs> I can't decide what I want to do. I might, let me just get an idea of how much of three quarters of a cup. I love this little booger. Waffles are your favorite. Hey, Heather and Jennifer. Yay. Hey, we got cheddar and chive bubble waffles. They're so good. So, I really, I like this little gadget. Because you can do liquids on the side. But if you do put your solids here, it just pushes right on out. So. I may use it. Let me see how this is working. Oh, did I add the butter? Oh, and the cheese. When's the butter? I see butter here, and I did not add butter. And the cheese and the chives. Uh, then whisk in the melted butter. You gotta have butter. <laughs> butter. Hey, Grace. I'm so glad I didn't miss the butter. Yeah. It seemed a little thick. So, maybe this butter will thin this out a little bit. Yay. You do? Oh, <laughs> the markings have completely worn off. Isn't that the thing about Pampered Chef, our stuff? last forever the quality of the products they just they just last and last and last and all of our products come with a warranty some of which are even lifetime warranties pretty awesome pretty awesome okay let's see how am i gonna do this i think i'm going all right Woo! It's 2.03. It's time to put it in there. And the cheese. Uh, and three quarters a cup of the batter to the, to the pan, filling in all the bubbles. Flip the pan over and cook for two to three minutes. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right. Oh, Lord. It looks, hope it's not too hot. We'll see. We shall see where all my scrape spatulas are. All right, here we go. Come on. Might have it too hot. Looks a little thick. Not seeing it being pretty. Holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, well. We're going with it. Not all the bubbles got there. Close it up. Flip it over. And I'm turning the temperature down. I think I have it too hot. It's okay. Oh. I don't want the smoke alarm to go off. Oh, spray the measuring cup. Good tip, Tracy. Thank you. What a great tip. I love it. I love it, Tracy. Tracy, you should, I encourage you to have a party with me. We can have some fun. Teach each other some new tricks. What do you say? Okay, flip the pan. And cook for two to three minutes and then flip the pan again and cook for one to two minutes or until the bubble waffle is golden brown not burnt black which i am trying very hard to avoid right now i'm gonna need a little plate to put it on oh lord very exciting very exciting <laughs> We did good. All right. Two minutes. 
this is very <laughs> nerve-wracking because you know just like anything recipes when it's a, a, a new recipe or a new kitchen tool it is um, can be a little challenging you got to practice and experiment so what if it you screw up next time we don't screw up as bad right that's right I, we had I don't know if you've ever had chicken and waffles together it's pretty pretty popular in the south I think it's going to come out good. I hope so. I hope so. Anyways, in the South, um, chicken and waffles are, is a, a popular thing. We have, um, so I made some really great um, hot chicken and waffles with the cheddar and chives. There is a really, 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 really delicious recipe on our on my website that is um, you buy the little frozen little mini waffles and you put it on the baking stone with the chicken. Oh, I love serving that um, for brunch when I have friends hanging out with me. <laughs> I'm oh really Tracy yum. And then I like hot syrup, little sriracha syrup in the maple, I mean, sriracha hot sauce in the maple syrup. So good. So good. So good. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to burn it. Flip the pan and cook for one to two minutes or until the bubble waffle is going in brown. All right, I'm going to flip it again. I put it on really low heat, so, oh God. I, I didn't burn it, I haven't burned it yet. I haven't burned it yet. I'm gonna give it one more minute and then I'm gonna show you. This uh, waffle pan comes with this little fork that helps you scoop it out of the waffle pan. You can earn this waffle pan for free or you can pay $65. <laughs> I love it. It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. Yay. Okay. I'm going to give it 15 more seconds. And then we're going in. Can you guys see? I know that the comments, does the comments block your view or can you actually see what's going on down here? Mm -mm -mm. I'd love to know. If you can see, see me, see this. The comments are there. I love seeing the comments. Okay, here we go. Bent off. This is off. Wow, looky y'all, looky, 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 looky. <laughs> hey. Yay, look, I'm so glad you guys are here. Hope, hope that you enjoy this holiday. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tracy, for letting me know. All right. Okay. So, actually, it looks like it could go a little bit longer, y'all. So, I'm going to do it a little bit longer. Come on. All right, can it not light? Because it can't see me. I mean, uh oh, there we go. A little bit longer, tiny bit longer. Okay, and yay, you can can see when you swipe the comments to the side. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks, Karen. I'm also going to. Um, a potluck later today and I am making Trace Coconut Trace Coconut Leche Cake. Coconut Trace Leche Cake. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. That's also on my website. It is my favorite cake to make. Of course it's got the toasted coconut. It's got yeah coconut milk. It's got con sweetened condensed milk, one box of 
uh, white cake mix. Make it all in our rock crock Dutch oven, which I love that because it's uh, actually it's not as hot today here in Virginia. Not as muggy, not as not as uh, humid. Um, I still want to cut the oven on, right? So I can make this cake in the microwave in 30 minutes, and it is so moist, so delicious. <laughs> Love it! Thank you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yay. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are awesome. Okay. Make sure I don't burn it again. Alright, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Let me see. Let me turn this off. Flip it over here. A little smoke. Yep, it was time for it to come off. Y'all, look, can you see this? <laughs> Thank you, Karen, is about to. Oh, my heavens. Ah, it's hot. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. It's the bubbles. It's the bubbles that make it. Now, I know the regular waffles has the, the little square holes, but the bubbles, it's the bubbles. When you bite into the bubbles, the texture is amazing. And you guys, you can make, I saw somebody post, um, a recipe for a low carb pizza when they use mozzarella cheese as the crust. We have also um, made uh, hash brown waffles in there with it. You know, you can make a regular waffle. This one's, you know, the savory kind, but you can make the sweet kind and then you can roll it up. Roll it up. Put it in a cup, in a glass, put some ice cream in it, and eat your cone with your ice cream. It's, I love this thing. I love this thing. So there you go. Look. So good. Right, I'm going to take a bite. <laughs> going to take a bite. Mm, mm. It's so good. It's so good. Look. Mm. National Waffle Day. I encourage you to not let this holiday go by without celebrating with a delicious waffle. <laughs> okay. Mm, 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 mm. Love it. Mm. So good. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Cooking in the Camper. <laughs> We're cooking in the camper. That's it for now. Peace, love, and happy trails, baby. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day, Tracy. Bye, guys. Bye, chefs. Love you. Love you a long time.